What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver climbing back up into the $24 an ounce range, premium excluded of course. We also have to talk about a massive wealth transfer during times of economic hardships when value gets passed on from those who are saving to those who are holding assets along with some updates regarding the government shutdown and Russia and Ukraine. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, got the limited edition Lucky Line available until St. Patrick's Day, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and you can watch Saturday and Sunday's videos right now if you want to. And of course, Go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. Everything will be linked in the description. So today is Friday, February 18th, 2022. The current spot price of silver as I'm filming the video is $24.01. It's up 20 cents or up 0.84%. A nice solid green day for silver driving it up over $24 an ounce. Spot price of gold is $18.96.20. It's actually down $3 or down 0.16%. A very mild red day for the beautiful yellow metal. And of course, the gold to silver ratio is in the 78 to 79 to 1 range. But of course, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. All right, so. In today's video, I wanted to extend on something that I had briefly mentioned in a previous video where I had responded to a quote that was something along the lines of, inflation is when wealth transfers from those who are saving to those who are holding assets. It was something along those lines. I'm probably butchering it and I don't remember exactly who said it, but I had mentioned in a previous video and I talked a little bit about that and I thought it would be appropriate to extend on it in this video. Now, before we can get into the silver, before we can get into the gold, which we are going to be talking quite a bit about, I think we need to first talk about the currency, along with some updates regarding the potential government shutdown and some Russia-Ukraine tensions. <laughs> so for those of you that didn't know, on top of all of the insanity going on in the world, we have been on the brink of a government shutdown. Now, originally... This was supposed to happen in October. Some of you may remember I was making videos about this very topic back then. That October deadline got extended to December. Then that December deadline got extended to February, more specifically February 18th, which is today. Now, all week, we've known that the House passed a stopgap bill to keep the government up and running through March 11th, but what the House does doesn't matter unless the Senate is on the same page. So all week long, we've been waiting on some more information. Now originally, I had said that the can is almost guaranteed to get kicked down the road and we'd be having this conversation in another three weeks, but we have seen government shutdowns in recent years, so it wouldn't be too big of a surprise if we were to see one today. Although, now would be a horrible time for a government shutdown, considering what's going on between Russia and Ukraine. But last night, some information came out, some new information, and surprise, surprise, the Senate has passed a short-term funding bill to keep the government running until March 11th. Again, we're going to be having this conversation in another three weeks. But it has now been sent to 46, now known as 49.45 due to inflation, for him to sign, which he will. The last thing he wants is a government shutdown during a time where it looks like Russia might be about to invade Ukraine. And speaking of Russia and Ukraine, the tensions continue to build. Right now, we're kind of almost on, on a tightrope, if that makes sense. Monday, we had heard that they were going to invade. Tuesday, we found out that they were withdrawing troops and then Wednesday, not a whole lot of information came out. And then Thursday, which was yesterday, it turns out that Russia is moving forward again. If you want some updates on that, go and watch yesterday's video. I went into as much detail as I possibly could. So go and check out that video if you want to know some more information. And 
with all of everything on the table right now, the markets are also on a teeter-totter or on a tightrope. Like I said, silver has been up, silver has been down this week, which is really no surprise, but it's been moving in bigger swings. That's something that I've noticed. The stock market is really no different. We have been seeing massive red days. We have been seeing massive green days. So we can take a quick look at how the stock market is behaving today before we move on to silver and gold and how wealth transfers from those who are saving to those who are holding assets. Let's take a quick look at how stocks are doing today so far. We have the S&P 500 up 0.27%. We have the Dow Jones up 0.29%. And we have the NASDAQ up 0.00%. So everything is just mildly in the green. It actually opened up in the red or, or quickly moved into the red upon the open. And so far, so green. We've been moving in a very, very, very light, subtle direction upward. So God only knows where the stock market is going to be or what the price of anything is going to be by the time this video comes out. I will be dropping it around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Of course, if you're in the Precious Metals VIP Club, you can watch this video early. You can watch every video that I post hours and hours early. In fact, on Fridays, you can watch Saturday and Sunday's videos right then and there. You don't have to wait until the weekend. So everything is in the description if you want to watch the videos early. But in addition to the stock market being pretty green today, I just wanted to quickly mention that if you download Weeble and fund your account, they will give you two free random stocks just for doing so. And then if you refer one friend, they give you a spin on the Weeble wheel where you have a chance of winning a free share of Google worth over $2,000. And if you refer three friends, they give you a guaranteed $150 worth of Apple stock. Those promos end this month. So you only have about a week and a half left to capitalize. Don't pass up on an opportunity. Weeble link in the description. And now moving away from stocks, moving away from Russia and Ukraine, moving away from the government shutdown, moving away from all of that. Let's now talk about the silver and the gold. Sitting here on display, we don't have anything too out of the ordinary. This is the display that I've had out for the week. Have some junk silver down in the bottom corners, Queen's Beast, Creatures of the North, some one ounce, five ounce, 10 ounce silver bars, some silver rounds, some miscellaneous coins, some fractional gold over there in the upper corner. But what I wanted to do in this video was extend on something that I had very vaguely mentioned in a video just a couple of days ago. I don't remember which video it was or how long ago it was, but I had mentioned that I stumbled upon a quote Again, I'm going to butcher it, and I don't remember exactly where it came from, but it said something along the lines of, inflation is when wealth transfers from those who are saving to those who are holding assets. Now, right off the bat, I really liked that quote, and it got me thinking, and obviously we're going through times right now. Times are pretty tough at the moment. We're seeing inflation through the roof. Inflation is at a 40-year high at this point. The Federal Reserve isn't giving us a whole lot of confidence that it's going to get much better anytime soon. So not to be a fear monger or not to be pessimistic, but to be realistic, we can probably expect prices to continue going up, especially over the next couple of months. Unfortunately, probably the whole rest of the year before we see any form of easing, if we see any easing at all. But I wanted to bring this up today because... The quote's true, and I had mentioned it in a previous video, but I didn't go into full detail about it. In fact, wealth transfers from those who are saving to those who are holding assets, and by the way, those assets could be really any form of asset class. It could be the precious metals, potentially, the silver, the gold. I don't know if you're into platinum, palladium, or rhodium, but they count as precious metals too, obviously. If you are able to be running a business, I would say that that absolutely counts. If you are involved in real estate in any way, shape, or form, that for sure counts. That's the ultimate form of wealth preservation. If you are investing in, let's just say, index funds, I would assume that that's a rock-solid way to go as well. Point being is that these are the asset classes that people are talking about. When they say holding assets, they're not saying holding cash. They're not saying the currency. No one has ever 
gotten rich off of currency. No one has ever been kept afloat exclusively due to currency, unless, of course, it was something that was going on in the short term. No one has ever gone through long-term financial hardships relying on absolutely nothing but the fiat. It doesn't work that way. And during times of economic hardships, whether it be times of inflation or whether it be during times of war or when we are potentially on the brink of war, Russia and Ukraine, I don't necessarily believe that'll turn into a war, but it's being priced in. Or during times of, let's just say, a worldwide health crisis where everything comes crashing down. The people who are holding the assets typically do the best. And when I say typically do the best, I don't mean they end up just being okay. I mean, more often than not, they end up doing very, very well for themselves. And I have a little bit of evidence to back my claim. For example, did you know that more millionaires were created during the Great Depression than at any other point in history? Why was that? It's because they were holding assets. Those were the people who had a whole bunch of gold. Those were the people who were investing in the stock market. Those were the people who owned businesses and owned houses and apartment complexes. More millionaires were created during the Great Depression than at any other point in history. In addition to that, here's another fun fact. Remember 2020? Remember two years ago when absolutely everything seemed to get slaughtered? Not just our economy, but the whole friggin' planet seemed to just come crashing down? Did you know that over 5 million millionaires were created here in the U.S. in that year alone? You want to know why that was? It's because they were holding assets. Those 5 million millionaires, they weren't sitting there hoping and praying for their savings account to go through the roof because it'll never go through the roof. That's not possible. It'll never happen. And the savings account will never pay you interest that will even come close to matching inflation, let alone giving you massive returns. They were not relying on the savings account. They were not relying on the pile of cash that they keep under their bed. They were not focused on the currency. They were not relying on or paying any attention to at all when it comes to the fiat. They were holding assets. A lot of them were holding precious metals. A lot of them were investing in the stock market. A lot of them had real estate. A lot of them had different businesses. Those were the ones who did very, 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 very well. 2020, as detrimental of a year as that was to probably 99% of people, 1% of people had the best year of their lives. 2020, for a lot of people, was the best year they ever had. And it's not just in terms of finances, but that is what I'm focusing on right here. They had the most profitable year they've ever had before. A lot of companies got smacked at the very beginning of 2020. But guess what? As the year went by and as 2020 turned into 2021, and they looked back and reflected on how the year ended off for them, some of them made more money in 2020 than in any other year in history. It's because... They're holding assets. The precious metals is one example of an asset. Silver, gold. Running a business is another form of an asset. Having real estate, which I would love to be involved in. I don't have the currency to get in just yet, but hopefully one day I'll be able to. The stock market. We're investing in broad market index funds. So you got a little bit of everything. And it's not too concentrated. It's diverse. People who were involved in these types of assets did very, very well. And guess what? They're going to continue to do well. I personally believe that the people that are stacking precious metals or the people that own real estate or the people that are investing in broad market index funds or the people who are running scalable businesses, I personally believe that these are the people who are going to do very, very well. And yes, inflation is a problem for the overwhelming majority of us, but inflation is going to do these people very, very well. It's going to be fantastic for them. So much wealth is going to be transferred to them from the people that are saving. That's what I believe. That's how I view it. Now, I just want to be clear. 
I am not stacking silver or gold to get rich. I don't believe that I'm going to get rich off of them. I am not utilizing precious metals as a tool to get rich. And the reason for that is because the precious metals I don't see as an investment. I see it as a physical at-home savings account. And not only that, I personally do not believe you can save your way to being wealthy, even if you're saving it in the form of precious metals. You'll be a whole lot better off in precious metals than in dollar bills, in my opinion. But this is my way of saving money. The precious metals, unfortunately, do not make me money. Reason for that is because I don't sell precious metals. My average cost is up quite a bit today, if you look at the last four years. My average cost is probably somewhere around $18, $19, maybe $20 at this point. I would have to calculate it. But point being, on paper, I'm up quite a bit. But I don't sell the precious metals, therefore I don't make money off the precious metals. The precious metals, this doesn't generate cash flow for me. This doesn't give me rental income. This doesn't pay dividends. It appreciates in value, but at the same time, you got to ask yourself, does it really appreciate in value? Or is it just the mirror image of the dollar bill depreciating in value? See, that's something that I've come to realize. I don't think silver and gold moves at all. I don't think it's ever moved. I think the reason it seems like it moves is because of the dollar bill fluctuating, going up and down, losing purchasing power over an extended period of time. That's what I believe. I'm curious to know if you're on the same page. I'm curious to know if you see eye to eye with me on that. If you agree with me, let me know. If you disagree with me, let me know why. The point being is that the silver and gold, it's not an income producing asset for me. There are other things that you can do, like I just mentioned before. If you're running a business, fantastic way to go. If you're investing in broad market index funds, fantastic way to go. If you own real estate, fantastic way to go. That could be a way of generating cash flow. That could be a way of raking in dividends or, 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 or capital gains. That could be a way of getting rental income. There are a lot of different ways you can, you can go about doing it. Silver and gold... I just consider it to be a safer way of storing value. See, what I'm trying to do right now, what a lot of people are trying to do, is they're trying to build wealth. They're trying to create wealth. They're trying to generate wealth. And once that wealth is built, created, and generated, then it's time to preserve the wealth. See, right now, I don't have a whole lot of wealth to preserve. That's why I'm in go mode. That's why I'm, I'm in build mode right now. That's why I'm playing offense. I've been saying this the last couple of weeks. I, my team has the ball. It's my turn to score. That's what I'm focused on right now. And upon the creation of a little bit of wealth, not a whole lot, I'll take it and do my best to preserve it. And I mainly focus on the silver and gold as a method of preserving wealth. That's just my way of going about doing things, and that is the extension that I wanted to do on the original quote that I had briefly mentioned in a video a couple of days ago. Inflation is when wealth transfers from those who are saving to those who are holding assets. I'm holding the assets. I value the assets more than the savings account. And when I say savings account, I'm not talking about the physical at-home savings account. I'm talking about the savings account at the bank. In fact, I've only had a savings account one time and it was for less than a year. You want to know what happened to it? They closed it due to inactivity. I wasn't putting anything in. I wasn't taking anything out because I didn't have anything to take out. All the cash that I keep in the bank, it's not very much. It's just mainly just for online bill payments that I have to make. But I keep it all in a checking account. I don't believe in a savings account. It doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't generate anything at all. They give me 0.001% interest or something like that. What is that going to do for me when inflation's at 7.5%? Or on a good year, when inflation's at like 2%? Or on, if a miracle happens, inflation's at 1% or half a percent? What is 0.001% interest going to do for me at that point? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It will make me... Zero. It'll make me pennies, fractions of a penny. 
So it doesn't make any sense to me to have a savings account. It only makes sense for me to have a checking account and a checking account I just view as a spending account. The only money I keep in there is the money that I intend on getting rid of. Currency, not money. Anyway, those are some of my thoughts on that quote right there. I'm very curious, everybody watching this right now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree on the quote? Do you believe that inflation, or it doesn't just have to be inflation, it could just be economic hardships. Do you believe that inflation or or, or being potentially on the brink of war or just economic hardships in general, worldwide health crisis, do you think that that is when, those scenarios are when, wealth transfers from those who are saving to those who are holding assets? Head on down to the comments and let me know. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. We got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs in a bunch of different designs. We even have the limited edition, luck has nothing to do with it, t-shirts and hoodies, only available until St. Patrick's Day and a portion of the proceeds are going to St. Baldrick's Foundation. DYDSS store will be linked in the description. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club, which is where I do giveaways every single month, live streams multiple times a week, deal alerts on silver and gold every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. You can watch Saturday and Sunday's videos right now if you want to. And tomorrow morning, I'll be posting a brand new adventure vlog called The Ultimate Stack Hack, How to Maximize the Stack. VIP Club link will be in the description. And of course, last but not least, Go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. They're going to give you two free random stocks just for doing so. And then if you refer one friend before the end of the month, they will give you a spin on the Weeble wheel where you have a chance of winning a free share of Google worth over $2,000. And if you refer three people by the end of the month, they're going to give you a guaranteed $150 worth of Apple stock. Time is running out. You have less than two weeks left. Don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. Away from all of the government shutdown news, because that doesn't matter until closer to the middle of March. Away from the Russia-Ukraine news, because that's just flipping back and forth. I want to mainly focus on the overall theme of today's video. What are your thoughts? What is your response to the quote? Again, this is not verbatim, it's not word for word, but something along the lines of inflation or economic hardships is when wealth is transferred from those who are saving to those who are holding assets. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What is your response? And... Did you know that more millionaires were created during the Great Depression than at any other point in history? Did you know that over 5 million millionaires were made in 2020 alone when everything was in shambles, when everything got slaughtered, when everything came crashing down? A whole lot of wealth was transferred to the people who were holding assets. So head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.